Need a yoga class to help you regulate your thoughts and your emotions so that you can cultivate internal spaciousness and reconnect to your powerful essence? Let's get started with this seated, gentle practice dedicated to the sound element. I'm sitting atop a few blankets and I also recommend that you have a strap nearby looped through the buckle at a shoulder width distance. Okay, meeting me in an upright seated posture, please. Root down through the base of your being, lengthen through the sides of your waist and elongate all the way through the crown. Allow the shoulders to drop back and down. Feel the sides of the neck lengthening, the jaw releasing. And allow yourself to take a few centering breaths to arrive into your yoga practice. Allowing the body and the mind and the soul to transition from whatever it is you were just doing into this now here, here now experience. Let's take a collective breath together. Inhale through the nostrils. Sigh out the mouth. <sighs> Opening with Brahmari breath, a pranayam that helps us draw inward, pull away from distractions, and really create that internal spaciousness by leveraging the sound element. You'll inhale through the nostrils. Big, steady inhale breath, and then you'll exhale with the mouth closed and create a humming bee-like sound. And then we'll layer on more elements to this practice to really draw the connection inward and enliven our essence. So hands can rest atop the thighs here. Again, reclaim that upright seated posture. Inhale through the nose. Bottom of your exhale, you'll draw another inhale breath through the nostrils and you'll exhale and create that humming bee like sound. Move as slow and as steady as you possibly can, extending the inhale, extending the humming-like sound as you exhale. We'll be here for a minute together. And now bringing the thumbs to connect with the inner ear and gently pressing down to continue drawing our awareness inward. Same breath technique here.
gaze up here. You can add on by now draping all 10 fingers across the face, continuing to gently press the inner ear inward and inhale through the nose, create that humming bee-like sound as you exhale. Last minute practicing Brahmari together. the bottom of your next exhale release the hands back atop the thighs take a moment notice the shift in your state of being notice how the waves of thoughts and emotions might have decreased in size or decreased in frequency. Notice this newfound sense of awareness, presence, and inward connection. We have the power to carve out this internal spaciousness when we use our practice holistically like this. Slowly open the eyes, start to create circles with the shoulders, going in whichever direction occurred naturally to you. Releasing tension from the whole upper body region, neck, throat, shoulders, front side and back side of the chest region, and maybe start to enlarge, enlarge and increase the size of your shoulder rolls. And start to decrease the size, and then move in the opposite direction. Make those shoulder rolls even bigger and then make them smaller. <sighs> such simple movements bring such healing and peace into my body, into my state of being. I hope you're feeling the same on your mat. Shrug the shoulders up towards your ears and hold them tightly there. On an exhale, let it go. <sighs> Two more, inhale, pull them up towards your ears, maybe even scrunch your face when they get there. <sighs> Last time. Scrunch, 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 hold, 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 let it go. <sighs> 
Nice. Bring the right arm across the body. Allow the left arm to hold the right arm in place here. Invitation to close down the eyes or softly gaze ahead to keep pulling your awareness, your energy inward, carving out that internal spaciousness so we can more easily, more gracefully navigate our thoughts and our emotions. Take that right arm overhead. Maybe you can connect both hands behind the back. If not, I recommend left hand to right elbow, gently guiding the fingertips further down the back, but keep the chest lifted here, yeah? Last breath. Reach the arms up, switch up the positioning, right arm, top of the left elbow, or climbing the right hand up the back to meet the left fingertips. Bring the left arm across the body now, right arm secures it in place. So the sound element is also correlated to the space element and both are associated with the Vishuddha or throat chakra. And the Vishuddha chakra is our communication center. It's our seat of authenticity and expressing ourselves freely allowing ourselves to speak and be heard and broadcast our visions and dreams. And that can be so difficult. Last breath here. Release it all, shake it out. It can be so difficult when the thoughts and emotions, the waves become tsunami-like and the frequency is so intense that there's no spaciousness within to even contemplate what authenticity means or the visions and dreams that I want to broadcast, that I want to share out in the world or what it means to express myself freely. Find your strap now, please. And we want it at shoulder width distance, and then we'll bring the thumbs to rest inside of the strap here. So take a moment, get yourself situated, and then we'll inhale, to lift the strap overhead, nothing fancy. Exhale, lower back down. We have eight. Keep the breath audible so we can enliven that sound element that we're working with today. Last four. So breath work is one way to tap into the sound element. A really powerful way is mantra or repeating or chanting affirmations. Last three. Of course, singing is really helpful. Last two. And last one. This time, hold the strap up overhead. Inhale here. Twist over to the right, come back through center, twist left. Do that two more times. Bring the strap back through center, release it for a moment, shake out the shoulders if you've got tension really building, and then we'll lift the strap back up one more time. And now hinge over towards the right, back through center, over to the left, through center, two more times just like that.
noticing how in our yoga practice, we use the body as a vehicle to mirror what we need the mind and the emotions to also replicate. And release the strap down, set it off to the side. So in this instance, we're moving slowly to really create that internal spaciousness. Drop the chin down towards the chest, please. Breathe into the back of the neck here. And when you're ready, roll the right ear towards the right shoulder. Possibly reach the right fingertips towards the earth plane. Walk them further away. Possibly reach left arm overhead oh excuse me walk left fingertips away from the body reach right arm overhead connecting with the ear and gently guiding the right ear further downward instead of moving quickly like so many of us enjoy we're moving much more slowly to carve out that spaciousness with the aim to enliven our essence, our essence being capital S for the self, capital T, truth. Those higher states of being, last breath here. Release right hand, roll the chin back towards the center, breathe here. Those higher states of being that allow us to more easily access left ear towards left shoulder, our authenticity. Walk right fingertips further away. Left hand comes overhead possibly towards the ear, ever so slightly guiding the head downward. It's in slowing down that our intuition can come online, provide that wisdom, help widen the distance between limiting or debilitating thoughts and emotions, and choose the ones that are empowering, right? That help us meet challenges and grow into the vision that we have for ourselves in this lifetime, release the left hand, roll head back through center, lift the head up. Last little bit of movement here, and then we'll sit for a few minutes in silence, really sinking into the spaciousness and bringing further online the sound element. So bring the middle finger to connect with the thumb on both hands and then rest the backs of the hands atop the thighs, naturally align through the spine. This is the Akasha Mudra for activating the space element. Continue to audibly yet softly breathe. Inhaling and exhaling through the nostrils, helping to keep the mind centered here, helping to keep emotions at bay. And we're sitting for three minutes. If sitting is challenging for you, that is perfectly okay. Welcome that experience. I feel challenged right now. Our yoga practice is here to transform the areas of our life that need support. It is not here to increase what we're already comfortable with. Allow the breath to be your anchor, your guide. 
audible, gentle inhale and exhale through the nostrils. Carving out that spaciousness, enlivening your essence. Last three breaths together. And bringing hands into prayer, Anjali Mudra, borders of the thumb connecting with the sternum. Spreading across the collarbone, we'll inhale for OM and end with this beautiful resonant vibration that represents the totality of our experience. Inhale. Shanti, 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 Om, peace, peace, peace. Hmm. Giving yourself a moment as you awaken the senses once again. Eyelids blink open. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. As always, I am excited to explore what it means to practice holistically together. If you enjoy this style of practice and my teachings, get my yoga reset guide. The link is in the description below, but also check out this video here that I'm recommending to you to continue onward with this sound element experience and this sound element practice. So this one practice is going to support that experience. Otherwise, I'll meet you back here on the mat to keep practicing yoga holistically together.